hello guys uh, this is a video regarding uh, how to create a new project using uh, keel microvision 4 uh, how to add new files uh, to the project how to compile it how to check for any errors and how to simulate a simple example uh, the target device i am taking here is uh, in nxp LPC1768 which is nothing but an ARM Cortex M3 processor manufactured by Philips. So it is NXP LPC1768. So let's get started. So go to your desktop. On the desktop find the shortcut Keel Microvision 4. So you can double click on this or if the shortcut is not there on the desktop you can go to start in this you can type keel in the search window so you will get the application so launch it so once you launch it uh, if there are already some projects open so you can see a project open here so what you need to do is go to project so you can see that option here in the toolbar go to project and go to close project so once you get a blank window like this so now you can create a new project so how to create a new project is so again go to the project tab here on the toolbar click on it so there is an option here you can see new microvision project so you can select this so once you select it so it will ask you the destination where you want to save the project the new project that you are trying to create so you can go to so i'll save my project on the desktop so just don't select the, the desktop because all the project files will be dumped onto the desktop so in the desktop select a new folder so you can create a new folder so i'll give the name as try so the folder name is try so give open so inside this folder on the desktop the name is try so inside that folder you can give the name of your project so let's say i want to implement multiplication so this is multiplication that this is the name of the new project i am trying to create so just give save so once you give save so it will ask you the target device so you can directly search here so as i told the target device is lpc1768 so if you just type that name here so it will show you the device so as soon as you select it you can see it is manufactured by Philips NXP and as soon as you select it it will give the important details important features about this LPC1768 so basically I told it is a ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller so you can see that here so every detail is mentioned here so you can go through that so now just give OK so once you give OK so you can see a pop-up will come here copy startup lpc xx dot s to the project folder just give it yes so as soon as you give yes a new project is given uh, is created you can see here target one so if you click on the plus mark here so source group one again if you click on the plus mark you can see the startup file is added by default so that is what you give it as yes right so this is regarding creating a new project so next thing is we have to create a new file so that you can type in the code and you can save the file so that you can execute it right so now to create a new file so you just you can go to file here you can see that file appearing in the toolbar just click on it and you can choose new okay or the shortcut is you can see here, control plus n 
R. So the one, one more option is you can see here create an empty document. So if you just click on it, so a new empty document will open. Or you can go to file and select new. So both will do the same option. So now you can type in the code or the program that you want. So Keel supports both uh, assembly language programming as well as embedded C program. So what I am trying to implement is a 16-bit multiplication on the LPC 1768. So for it, what I'll do is I'll write a C program, which is the main program, which will call a function or a program which is written in assembly. So the main program is written in C, which will in turn call a sub program which is written in assembly. So that is what I'll try to do. So I'll not type in. I already have the code so I'll just copy paste it so you can see this is the code I'll copy it then I'll paste it so as soon as you paste it here next thing you have to do is you have to save the file so how to save that is you can see the option here control s okay, or you can go to file save so both will do the same operation so i'll just click on this save so as soon as you click on it so it will ask you where you have to save the file that you have created so i'll save it in the same folder in which i have created my project try okay so let's say i'll give the uh, name as multi and I'll save it, save it with the extension dot C because it is the embedded C program I have written. So the extension should be dot C. So just give save. So as soon as you give save, you can see the key keywords will be highlighted. So example is hash include. It's a keyword. Extern void. So these are the keywords. So you can see here in this, I'm calling a function multiply so this is the function call i was referring to this function will be written in assembly so to write this function i need to create one more empty file so i'll click on this new file once again so one more blank document so now i'll I need to type in the assembly code so again i have the assembly code already with me so i'll just copy paste it here Okay, you can see here I just copy paste it. Now, again I have to save the file. So again go here or just press Ctrl S. So again, it will ask the destination where you want to save. So I'll give the name as mul dot yes. Dot yes indicates that the file is or whatever the code you have written is written in assembly language. Okay. So mul dot is again the same destination. Just give save. So as soon as give save, again you can see the keywords are highlighted, right? So here in assembly indentation is very important. You can see this area, the keyword area, which will define the area. So it has to start with a tab. Okay. Otherwise, it will give uh, indentation here. So, I will not explain the program, but I uh, am trying to just multiply two 16 bit numbers. You can see the 16 bit numbers. So, once you give a save, so next thing is you have to add these two files that you have created to your project. You can see the files are not yet added. So, if you do not add your files here, you cannot proceed. So what I'll do is right click on this source group 1 and I'll select the option add existing files to group source group 1. So just select it. So as soon as you select it, so it will ask which files you have to add. So again you can browse the destination where the files are available. So my files are available in the desktop. So in the desktop the folder is try. So this is where I have saved the files. You can see the file type is .c source c source right? so one i have written in embedded c so that will that is i'll add this dot c file add okay 
So again, I need to add one more file, which is a assembly file. So I'll change the files of type. So I'll change it to assembly. So as soon as I change it to assembly, so you can see I'm able to find this assembly file that has emu, right? So add it. Close. So now you added both your source files that you have written one in C and one in SM, right? So now one more thing you have to add is system dot C file. So that is where the uh, header files will be written, the functions, internal functions will be written for LPC one seven six. So to add that, so right click here, source group one. Again select the option. Add existing files to group source group one. So now where you have to browse? This? You have to go to my computer. So that is this PC. So here go to C drive. So in C drive, you can see a folder Kiel. So once you have installed Kiel Microvision four, it will install in C drive. So that is this is the installation folder. Just go into that. So once you go into Kiel folder. You have to go into ARM folder. ARM, okay. So once you go to ARM folder, next you have to search for startup, okay. Startup. So once you go inside startup, now you have to search for NXP because that is the manufacturer manufacturer of LPC one seven six that I am using, right? So NXP double click on this. So once you are inside the NXP folder, now you have to navigate to LPC one seven XX. Okay, you can see this folder. So just double click on it. So here you can file. And you can find a dot S file, but this dot S file is already added. Okay, but I need the C file. Okay, so just change the files of type to C. So once you change it, so now you can see we are finding a C file, system LPC one seven double X. Just add it, close. So these are the required files for my project for multiplication, right? So once I have added it, so now what you can do is you can see the option here build. So once you build, you can see the syntax errors. Okay, so just click on build. As soon as you Click on build, so it will give the it will give errors if there are any. So in in my case, you can see here undefined symbol multiply. Okay, so I need to debug this error now. Yeah, so now I have debugged the error. So now you can see once I build, so I am getting zero errors and zero. Warnings. Okay. So once you get zero errors and zero warnings, you are free to proceed. So next thing is, so since I'm doing simulation, so I'm not you know, using actual hardware to execute this program. So what I'll do is I'll simulate it. So how to simulate it? So you have to go to debug. Okay. You have to go to debug and you have to go to start stop debug session. So as soon as you click on it. So it will give a warning that you are using evaluation mode version. Just give OK. Yeah. So now, so now you are in the debug mode. So to the left you can see the register contents. Right. So R not to R fifteen. Right. So they will have some values according to the program that you are writing. So now, to execute this program, what you can do is you can press on this run F five. So if this will execute the entire program at once, and you will get the result directly. But if you want to uh, do stepwise execution, so you have to just press on this step, or you can use the keyboard shortcut F11. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go on for the stepwise execution. So I'll just go on pressing F11. Step wise, F one, F eleven. Sorry, you can see it is calling some system initialization function, so which is a library function. 
already written it will do some initialization so that is done so now here you can see the pointers point into the next instruction which is multiply which is a sub function which is written in assembly so as soon as I execute this it will switch to uh, the assembly function here you can see it has come to the assembly function so now the contents of registers are important so the next instruction is LDR R0 0x 706f so it is a 16 bit number in x address this yes, I'll do step wise so as soon as I execute this you can see R0 is loaded with 706 so next step so R1 is loaded with 7161 right so you can see that here in the register content so next step so what is this instruction doing is R1 is multiplied with R0 which is 706F multiplied with 7161 and the result is stored in R2 you can see the result in R2 is 31CB990F so this is in hexadecimal just convert it to decimal and variable the next instruction is move this result which is in R2 to another register which is R3 so again if you click on this next step so it will move the result to R3 you can see the result like this you go on executing so it will come and stop here so this is the end of the program okay so now to exit this simulation again you can go to debug and select start or stop debug session so it will exit the simulation fine so this is how you can create a new project create a new file add the files to the, pro the project build them check for syntax errors and then simulate them as well. thank you